Are you sitting comfortably? Good. Then I have a little story for you. <laughs> oh. Mr Cadbury and Miss Roundtree met on a double-decker. It was after eight. She was from Quality Street. He was a fisherman's friend. On the way, they stopped at a Yorkie bar. He had a rum and butter and she had a wine gum. He asked her name. Polo, she said. I'm the one with the hole. Oh, that's good, he thought. I'm the one with the nuts, he thought. Then he touched her milky way. They checked in at a hotel and went straight to the bedroom. Mr Cadbury turned out the lights for a bit of black magic. It wasn't long before he slipped his hand into her snickers and felt her cream egg. <laughs> he found... <laughs> sorry, I fucked that out. Rolling, yes, sorry, keep rolling. Two minutes. Right, so you've got two minutes to finish this off and give us a little... And now, if you're sitting comfortably, a story. <clears throat> ah. Mr Cadbury and Miss Roundtree met on a double-decker. It was after eight. She was from Quality Street and he was a fisherman's friend. On the way, they stopped off at a Yorkie bar. He had a rum and butter and she had a wine gum. He asked her her name. Polo, she said. I'm the one with the hole. Ooh, I'm the one with the nuts, he thought. How lucky. Then he touched her milky way. They checked into a hotel and went straight up to the bedroom. Mr Cadbury turned out the light for a bit of black magic. It wasn't long before he slipped his hand into her snickers and felt her cream egg. He fondled her flapjacks, then he showed her his curly whirly and tic tacs. Miss Roundtree wasn't keen to have jelly babies, so she let him take a trip, as she would, down Bourneville Boulevard via her party ring. He was pleased, as he always fancied a bit of fudge. It was a magic moment as she let out a scream of Turkish delight. When he pulled out, his fun sized Mars bar felt a bit crunchy. She wanted more, but he needed time out. However, he noticed her pink wafers looked very appetising, so he did a twirl at a picnic in her ship and dip and finished off by giving her a cough stopper. <laughs> Unfortunately, Mr Cadbury then had to go home to his wife, Canimal. Sadly, he was soon to discover that he had VD. That's because Miss Roundy, it turned out, had been with Bertie Bassett, and he had all sorts. Cute.